So it's been confirmed that Sergio Perez has committed his future to Red Bull by signing a two year extension on his existing contract, and this is well deserved. I mean last year even though he wasn't on the pace of Max Verstappen, he put in some solid drives. And this year he's taken such a step forward that he's actually put himself in a position to be a championship contender. So it's no surprise that Red Bull don't want to let him go, but as a result this could very well end up being bad news for Daniel Ricciardo's future at McLaren. So Checo has signed a two year deal with Red Bull, with the Mexican putting pen to paper ahead of the Monaco Grand Prix, and it shows that Red Bull are very committed to him, with team boss Christian Horner saying, For us, holding on to his pace, racecraft and experience was a no brainer, and we are delighted that Checo will continue to race for the team until 2024. In partnership with Max, we believe we have a driver pairing that can bring us the biggest prizes in F1. Now even though he thoroughly deserves this, the move closes off the second Red Bull seat to drivers further down the Red Bull ladder, such as Alpha Tauri, Giro, Pierre Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda, until at least 2025. Now we know what happened in the past to Gasly, with him being promoted to Red Bull in 2019 after a solid year with its sister team, but was demoted back again midway through the season after struggling to put in good performances. Despite this though, Gasly has performed very well since then, with him racking up solid points finishes with Alpha Tauri, as well as a few podiums and even a race win. Now Gasly openly said in 2021 that he deserves a second chance at Red Bull, but with Perez signing a contract extension there's no possibility of that for a few more years now. And Red Bull advisor Dr. Helmut Marko admitted earlier this year that Red Bull might lose Gasly if the team could not offer him a promotion back to the senior squad. Now Gasly is going to want to move up the grid, but with Red Bull now unable to offer him that chance until at least 2025, he'll be looking at options elsewhere, and one of them is likely to be McLaren. Now there's no way the team will get rid of Thando Norris, given how well he's driving and the multi-year deal he's just signed. But I do think the team could consider putting Gasly in place of Daniel Ricciardo. Now Ricciardo is a great driver, having put in some great drives at Red Bull and Renault over the years. But as we know the Australian has struggled at McLaren, with him picking up only one points finish in seven races so far this season. And last year he struggled a lot as well, yes he won in Monza which was a great result, but overall he just hasn't been anywhere near the pace of Norris. Now Ricardo was given a three year contract when he joined McLaren last season, but his struggles have prompted McLaren CEO Zach Brown to recently say that he's not happy with the results Daniel is getting, and highlighted an exit clause in his contract. He told the race, I don't want to get into the contract, but there are mechanisms in which we're committed to each other, and then there's mechanisms in which we're not. I've spoken with Daniel about it, we're not getting the results that we both hoped for, but we're both going to continue to push. Well I could see two things happening, one being that Gasly and McLaren enter into talks this season for a move in 2023, which would see Ricardo depart from the team early. And I think if Daniel continues with pointless finishes, it's going to prompt McLaren to do that. Or the other alternative is that both drivers see out their contracts to the end of 2023, and a deal between McLaren and Gasly is set up for 2024. But either way, with the way Brown has been speaking about Ricardo, it's clear he's unhappy with the performances, and if it continues I could see him looking at other options. And as I say, with Perez's contract extension, it could make Gasly an attractive candidate and former F1 driver and champion Jacques Villeneuve, who is no stranger to F1 contract talks, felt Ricardo's time is over with the team following Brown's comments. He said in one of his columns, Daniel Ricardo's time at McLaren is over. CEO Zach Brown is now saying that there are clauses in his contract, and that means that a decision has almost been made. It's a way to put the pressure on the driver and prepare the media. But do you think Gasly could replace Ricardo? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.